What's going on guys? Welcome to my channel. Today I'm talking about six steps that uh, can help you be a better photographer or videographer. So stay tuned because what I'm going to share is going to be good. All right, so first I want to start off with the major question that people always ask, what lights should I use for my videos? The main thing that you need to start off with is not the type of lights that you want, is which I would want to say, number one, your camera. Your camera is super, super important in basis of what type of footage you want your viewers to see. That is the importance of your camera because depending if you're gonna shoot on RAW, depending if you're gonna shoot on just your regular settings in your camera, you're gonna choose what you want because in order to get a light like this and to look clear, crisp, you know, have your colors pop, it all starts with your camera. Secondly, your lens. Why is your lens so important? Because of the glass that it contains and the picture that it gives you and the quality that it gives you. Now that's very important. I would say that your lens is even more important than the type of camera you have. Well, I do recommend that you do, whenever you can, buy and afford a expensive camera of your liking very, very important, but I'm gonna get to that in a little bit. But what I'm trying to say with the lens, get to know your lens. Right now, the one that I have on is the kit lens, and I've been using that for so long. I have other lenses that I use, uh, telephoto, I have uh, 50 millimeter, and I have other you know adapters that adapt to the lens, filters, I mean, I have all that stuff, but literally, I just use something that is very easy to, to just put out there and film. That is the main thing that you start learning. You gotta know the basics of your lens. What can your lens do? How far can you shoot? What is ISO? What is aperture and what is shutter? Those are very, very important when it comes to your lens and camera. Color lighting. Okay, I'm, you probably never heard that phrase before, but I just made it up. But this is what that means. Every light that you see when you first see it, you don't realize the color that's coming out from the light. Now, I myself did not realize this until I started really focusing on my camera and my lens and started seeing the lighting that I started capturing on the lights. And I started seeing, man, I want my face, why is it green? Or why is my face blue? Or why is my face like pinkish or magenta color? And I started realizing that these lights were giving out certain colors. That is very, very important when you're getting this light. So for example, this light hits a white uh, and kind of like a bluish light bluish color the lighting that it gives out is very very important to how you want to look because everybody has a different type of skin that's the real thing how strong is your light can you dim your light can you control your light if you're shooting outside you need to know how strong the light is and how much light is your subject getting because it's very different when you shoot outside versus inside outside is not a control situation inside is a control situation where you can control your lighting easier when you can control your lighting you can really get any effect that you want on your subject the positioning of your lights I started first with the three-point lighting right I had my key light my fill light and my backlight and then I started realizing that maybe that light was not giving me what I wanted and the mood that I wanted to show on these videos which brings me to right now what you see there's two things that you need to see when you're shooting photography or video and that is light and shadow. So for example, if you want to be in the beauty industry, you want to do YouTube videos about beauty, one of the things that you need to realize is that you can't have any shadows on your face because it shows literally, look, every crease, it shows everything that you have, it shows flaws. And what you want as beauty, you want to get what? A clear face, softness. So what do you need for that light? Well, you actually need a big source light. You need a light that can cover like the parts you're gonna see in your in, in the video that's what you need and that's a big soft light and a lot of people get box lights a lot of people get some kino lights <clears throat> but ultimately you're gonna need a diffuser and that's gonna diffuse your light so that you can get softness and that if and the light can be uh, diffused over you and you can literally get all the shadows 
off you. So that's pretty much if you're gonna do a beauty. Now for me, for example, I did this on purpose. I, I did my dark side and I did my light side because I wanted to show you something. Like for me right now, what I'm working with is two lights and that's it. The three point lighting right now is kind of working with me because I'm thinking about the position that I'm putting myself in. So for example, I have this light right here hitting me on this side of my face. So it creates shadow on this side. And since you see behind me, I did this on purpose because I wanted to show you the light that is right here. Uh, the light is hitting me from above, right? So what is that creating? That's creating me right here, lighting me up on the back. And as you can see right here, there's shadow on my face. So that sets a very like dark mood where you're being interrogated or you know, you're in this serious movie. And if I wanted to take this right here, you would do a filler, which would be a light that is lighter or not as strong as this one and point it here. Now, since I don't want to use another light because I like this and I want to make my work easier, I'm just going to get a reflector and uh, this reflector comes in different colors it comes in white gold silver literally the light that hits here it's gonna reflect off on you so this silver is reflecting off my face now watch this since I put this light here look at this boom dark I'm sorry I'm looking over here at the screen but you're right here okay so you see that boom Look at that. See the difference? Now you're probably thinking, man, that looks way better, right? Now you can see my whole face. You have still that dark, moody color, but now you can have a more uh, filler, softer light here that can make you look the way you want. So with the mood that you want for your viewers is the way that you're gonna set up your lighting. So when you're seeing your movie or you're seeing YouTuber, pay attention to how the light is hitting their face. Pay attention to the shadows because that's gonna tell you a lot for where their light is coming from. Now next is color. Now I know we talked about light and the colors that they give, but think about this. And this has to do with the camera, it connects to the camera. The way that I have my settings is at a very low ISO. My aperture is at 50 and uh, my f-stop is at 3.5. And the reason why I have it like that is because it lets me uh, use this light the way that I want them and get this look. Now, if I were to turn everything off, this is what would happen. Let me show you. Boom, literally <laughs> dark, nothing. This is the way it looks without light. But let me now go back and turn on those lights. And then my filler. Do you see what I mean? The way that I set up my camera was very important because that allowed me to use less light for the mood that I wanted on my camera. And so for the last one is your atmosphere. That is very, very important. When it comes to your atmosphere, what colors are around you? For example, where I'm at right now is all white. So that in itself helps me be lit up very clearly. I don't need actually filters and all this stuff to light me up, but that can also work against me because now, even though I have this light here, I have little less control of my situation. So how would I fix that? Well, this is how I would fix that. I can get literally uh, two sound sheets, or I can get two just regular uh, bed sheets, whatever, or curtain that are black, and that black would absorb the light. So now I would have no bounce onto me, and the only thing that I would have was just my full color. All right, guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share uh, this video if you think it helped you or if you liked it or if you just want somebody else to know this information. Hey, get it out there. Spread the word. Guys, thank you so much once again, and we see you on the next video. Peace.